RCUSA here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to re-oil your shocks or just to do some maintenance gonna put this back on just for video purposes um, so first off you're going to need one of these 1.5 millimeter 1.5 millimeter screwdrivers and going to simply just unscrew that and after that you dump all the oil in there I didn't do because I already did so after you do that emptying out all the old oil <coughs> you're going to add in some new ones not new ones, but um, some new oil. So I'm going to use 60 weight Losi oil. I just put the Traxxas sticker on there. Gonna fill this up almost to the top and then going to cycle the shock making sure that you don't let the piston go above the fluid level. As you can see there, all of the shock fluid should go under the shock piston. After you give it a few cycles. Just gonna simply keep adding some oil. The reason why you would want to cycle the shock is to let all the air bubbles exit so that your shock can maneuver very smoothly without any problems. And just to save time on this video, I'll only be doing this for one shock. It's basically the same process for all four of your shocks. And you're just gonna let this sit for maybe about five to 10 minutes depending on what weight you're using so for 60 weight i this is the way i'm doing it there's a lot of other ways of doing this so i'm just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and i'll see you guys then. right after the 10 minutes is up now you should have a shock with zero air bubbles in it. So what I like to do is just add a little bit more oil. Then from there on, we're going to reassemble the shock. Just grab the shock cap. Make sure that the shock bladder is on there. And start tightening. And if any oil came out the top, just gonna wipe it off with uh, just any type of paper towel. And then once you got that done, just going to tighten it a little bit more. Then, your shock should be doing that without the shock spring. So, from there on, you grab any shock spaces that were on there, the shock spring perch, and slide it on. 
grab your spring, compress it, and add the lower spring privilege. All right, should be good as new. And if you're wondering why these are so small and tiny, is because I actually put some nitro fuel tubing on the shock shaft. I threaded this rod end, I guess. Then I pulled the whole shock piston and all that sort of stuff out of the shock. I just cut a little bit of this off. I put it in and there's some of this on the inside just to make it lower for project 100 mil an hour. So hopefully I hope that you finally know how to reassemble and re-oil your shocks thank you guys so much for watching this video like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time